Good morning. So today we have done a day trip from Yef Yufuin, um, where we are based, and we are in Beppu right now. So Beppu was like a hour train ride via JR. It can take longer if you're not on the Limited Express ones. So we're going to be exploring all of Beppu. So these are the hells of Beppu, and you have like seven different. Um, hells that you can have a look at we're over here right now and then we're going to head to the Beppu beach sand bath as well so today we've got the mini pass and it's like a one day bus pass for like 900 yen and then we will try and see all these different hells so first stop we are here at the Beppu sand bath it's really really supposed to be quite a fun experience it's like a volcano sand mud bath kind of thing so we just go in here and then we it's like a thousand and thirty yen per person and then you can buy towels and everything as well and so what happens is like you go in you lie down on the sand they kind of shovel um, the sand on your body you stay in there for like 10 15 minutes then you wash the sand off and there's like an onsen bit you can go in as well um, and then just have like a quick rinse so now we are at the sand bath and this is what will happen we're going to like lie down in these number seven which is this one it's called Tatsumaki Jigoku so this one is a geyser which means a hot spring spouting out boiling water at intervals so we're waiting to watch this show next up we have Chino Ike Jigoku so this one's supposed to be like a red bath. You see like the steam coming out. So at every place you go, you can collect a stamp um, to mark like that you've been to each of the Hell's Valley. So this one we will do. Where are we now? I think well, we're at this one right now. Ugh. Yay! We're here right now, and then we're gonna walk, work our way up those five. So next up, we are at Shirai Ike Jigoku. So this one is called the White Pond Hill. Um, it's cold. It's so cold for its blue white colored boiling water. And when the water spouts from the ground, it is colorless and transparent. But as time passes, it turns blue white. <music> Oniyama Jigoku or Oniyama Hell. Um, it says the force of the steam is so strong here that about one and a half train cars can be pulled by its pressure and it creates an ideal condition for breeding crocodiles. So are these real? I have Are these real? They don't actually look that real, but I guess they're real. Especially if the sign says like that. Don't put your hands over it. 
How do they sleep with their mouths open? Next up, we're at Kamado Hell. This one is called Cooking Pot Hell. One of the tourist attractions representing the various hells at Bepu Onsen, Oita, which discharges the largest amount of hot spring water in Japan. Kamado Jigoku was named after an ancient myth in which steamed rice was cooked with the fumarolic gas discharged at 90 degrees Celsius as an offering to the Ujigami, guardian god, for the Kamado Hachimangu Shrine Festival. Kamado Jigoku Memorial Stamp. Here we go. No! Okay, that kind of came out bad. So apparently if you drink this, you will go you'll reverse your age by 10 years. It's 80 degrees. <laughs> So let's let's go back ten years time. So after drinking this, I'll go from eighteen to eight years old. It's really salty. It's like when you boil. No, no, no. Sorry, it's like bamboo salt. That's what it tastes like. But with like the egg kind of sofa smell. Well done. And then here, I guess you it's like a steam for your hand and legs, so you can sit there and put your hand and legs in there. And then there's like salt as well. You can eat it with, I guess. Mm. It's very light and puffy. So it's good. Yum. Soy sauce pudding. Mmm. Here's a soy sauce. It's quite nice. It's not too salty. It's a good balance. Next, we are at Onishi Bozu Jigoku. And apparently, like these circles are supposed to represent sha the heads of the shaven heads of monks. Apparently, according to the booklet, it's really all these gardens are actually really, really pretty. Let's look for the stamp. Ooh, that's cool. Ah, here's the stamp. And now we are at Umi Jigoku. So 
So this wraps up our day trip to Beku and the Hell Valleys. I think every Hell Valley really had something unique to offer, but definitely some were more fun than the others. I really liked Beppu and I thought it was a fun uh, town to kind of visit for the day. We unfortunately didn't get much time to actually explore the foodie side of Beppu, but if you're in the area, definitely do give Beppu a visit. It's a really cute small town that's really nice to visit, and I think there's a lot of things to do. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and until next time, see you guys. Bye!